Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 127 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. I know I did not go, gosh, half of my head is missing. <laughs> there you go, maybe there. I'll have to be all the way out here so you can see me. Whew. But as I was saying, I know I did not go all the way out to failure. It is too cold out here too try to go to fail in the very first set so I took it easy control down controlled up so I only did 20 to warm up oh and also I'm wearing short sleeves I don't know if you can tell but I have goosebumps it is really cold now on the next set I will go extremely out to failure that first set is an attempt to warm up <laughs> <Whew. sighs> and then I decided to put this short sleeve on well, not short sleeves, more like a tank top type of thing. Or a sleeveless t-shirt. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> t-shirt with no sleeves. How about that? Uh, uh, I was hoping today after work, I was going to be a little bit more, a little bit warmer and a little bit more motivated, but I was at work for 12 hours today. I'm gonna give it a 100% to the exercise. I don't know how much energy I have left in me to do the exercises. And as usual, well not as usual, but it is three exercises, not counting the push-ups. Today we are definitely starting with the flies. <laughs> we'll start with the flies, then we'll go with the incline, and we'll finish with the flat, uh, flat uh, dumbbell press. I, I will try to go as hard as I possibly can with the last exercise. Usually, when I get to the last, ex last exercise, I'm already tired. But anyway, time is up. Here we go. Hopefully you can see me there in the camera. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, it's only push-ups. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Here we go. All right, time for a break. 
Uh, yes, the brake man is here. <laughs> bench hopefully today I won't have it too close to the weight neither too close to this but anyway let's start loading the dumbbells which are freezing cold All right, so we're gonna start with 20 pounders. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll put this 10 on, it's less work for me. I already worked 12 hours today. I don't need to work any harder than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's put the other one together. Oh yeah. Snaps. Hopefully this 20 pounds do not hurt me. Flies is one of those exercises that I need to be careful with since it involves the shoulders quite a bit. I could probably do them like I used to back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, but back in the day we're more like dumbbell press squeezing on the top <laughs> well, the dumbbells and then bring it to together in the middle which kind of still works the pecs in the area where I want to work them at the same time I want to be able to work more muscles in the pectoral area with the exercise that's why I'm doing them the way I'm doing them today all right Time is almost up. Let me get ready. And let's see, do I still have bruises? Yeah, they're still there. Ah, these things are cold. Uh, cold. And here we go. Take a break. I definitely felt every single rep there. And it's just like before. The weight feels like it's just right. A little bit on the heavy side, but not too heavy. I'll keep it there until I can pass my rep limit. So the day I can do more than 15 <laughs> reps, I'll consider 
or not consider it, but I will start adding weight to it. Pretty sure I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to it. I know I only did 10 reps there, but there were 10 really good reps. And now that I'm looking at this, I decided that I am going to build my own handle. I'm gonna have to put an extra padding here. Cause this pad, it's cool, doesn't make a metal noise on, on the floor. I'm gonna have to start thinking about a different type of pad. Maybe a little bit more paddy than that one. Whew. Other than that, we're good. Three more sets of these flies. We'll go incline. We'll put some more weight on, on these bars and keep on pushing. That's the theme for today, pushing. Hopefully I remember to, <laughs> to reset that thing before it times out on me. Like it almost did yesterday. All right, all right. Let's see. Time is still ticking. Just a few more seconds to go. <sighs> Luckily I have my cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> Even though I worked 12 hours today, I'm still have a little bit of the push from the caffeine this morning. And it's a crazy strong coffee. It's called Cafe Santo Domingo. It's kind of an espresso, but it's, how do I explain it? It's a very strong coffee that is not consuming espresso format. You can have it just, well, at least that's how we have it in Dominican Republic. Uh, we have this coffee. Oh, now we, I will say something. We don't drink cups in DR like we do here <laughs> in, in the United States. The cups of coffee are, are way smaller there than here. Anyway, time is up, here we go. Let's take a break. Oof, that was another good one. That was the second set. Two more sets to go. Let's. Oh, yes. All right, let's talk about more coffee. <laughs> oh. I think the max quantity of coffee that I remember drinking when I lived there was maybe four ounces, five or six, somewhere in between four and six ounces. And don't come up saying uh, between four and five is, I mean, between four and six is five. Uh, uh, it's somewhere between four and five. It was not four, it was five or six, one of the three ounces of coffee and here usually people drink 
I don't know, like 12 ounces of coffee, 20, 30, that's a lot of coffee. Granted, the coffee is not as strong as I accustomed to, or as in DR, it's usually made, but it's still a lot of coffee. But anyway, that's what I had this morning, Cafe Santo Domingo, I make it at home. Uh, now it is, uh, I mix it with other regular coffee like Maxwell House or Forge, uh, what's it called? Folgers Coffee. I mix it, I buy a bag of the Cafe Santo Domingo and mix it with half a tub of the uh, Folgers or Maxwell House. And still pretty freaking strong. <laughs> Like I can't have it just pure that coffee. Um, it'll make my heart go crazy. But yeah, that's what I do. And it keeps me a good, good amount of energy throughout the entire day. I have to be careful that I need to remember if I had coffee today. Cause sometimes I, I wake up and rather not have it if I don't remember if I had it or not. Uh, not like right after I wake up. Right after I wake up, I know I didn't have it. Later in the day, if I feel like, eh, did I have it or didn't I have it? Sometimes I'd rather not have another cup or have a cup, not knowing if I'm sure if I had it or not, because I will not sleep that night. <laughs> and my heart will be going crazy. But anyway. Time is up. I'm sorry if I confuse you there with the have or not have. I wasn't sure did, if I had, you know. <laughs> I even confused myself on that sentence, on that speech. But I won't do it again. Here we go. All right, taking a break. Ah. Seems like a, I'm consistently hitting the same amount of reps. You know, in this last exercise, last set, I felt my shoulders being engaged a little bit more than usual. So, So only one more set. We're gonna go incline. Push the four sets. And then we'll go flat. I don't know how much weight I'm gonna be able to add to it, but it's gonna be in little plates. <laughs> day because on bicep day I'm going to not go so hard at least as a plan right now ah oh, look at that it's tomorrow <laughs> who knew 
Tomorrow is bicep day. Oof. Um, this arm today at work decided to, I don't know, give me a little bit of a cramp. I don't know why. So I guess it will depend on how it goes tomorrow, how I feel tomorrow. Might really go hard or not so hard. Hard enough, but without wiggling myself like I did last time. Or as hard as I possibly can until I'm in pain like I did. Not the week before, but the week before that. <laughs> Whew. Ah. All right, just a few more seconds to go. On our last break of this particular exercise, we'll do our last set. And then incline this bench, which should I reset that camera? I'll do it right after. Right after this set. All right. Here we go. Take a break. Let's see where this thing is at. It was only like nine minutes. Let's see, I have 30 minutes to go. All right, let's load these puppies with, uh, ouch, <laughs> just, <laughs> just whack my fingers with, with clamps. All right, let's see, 10 pounds on this side. pounds on this side. You're probably wondering why it's taking me so long to load these weights. <sighs> these weights are cold. Everything in here is cold. No wonder Rocky got so so strong. <laughs> think I'm gonna be able to do many reps we are going to do as many reps as we can just a few more seconds to go on our break but looking at the weights reminds me that I will soon need to be 
adding more weights to this dumbbell press yep which is which only means one of two things either gonna use 25 pound discs on the dumbbell to make it 50 instead of 40s or uh, we're gonna be using the barbell back there <laughs> a lot to think about <laughs> I don't want to use a barbell yet I know I can use it I know I can you know I can I mean I think you know I can or I hope you think I can uh, but I don't want to use it yet all right time is up man this weights are heavy and uncomfortable here we go Time is ticking again in our break. I felt eight of those 10 reps. <laughs> felt them really good. I feel like my chest is about to break through the skin. Okay, maybe not through the skin, but through the fat. <laughs> felt it. That was a good one. Whew. That's how I was saying. <laughs> I'll probably have to start soon using either the 25 pound discs on the dumbbell or use that bar back there. I personally don't want to use the bar yet simply because it is way easier to skip the dumbbells and go to failure with the dumbbells than it is to skip the barbell or go to failure with the barbell. Other than that, I know I can do the barbell. Maybe when my brother comes back from DR He'll be able to help me, or not help me, but spot me. Be a spotter. Whew. Ah, talking about the king. Or the emperor of Rome. <laughs> ah, it's my brother texting me. Uh, all right, time is still ticking. Just a few more seconds to go. We'll go in our second set of this incline smart bell press. And we'll continue pushing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to 10. But we'll find out. Yeah. 
Here we go. Take a break. <sighs> Exhibit A. <laughs> That's why I don't use the bar when I do any type of press. Whew, that was to failure. I don't think I did eight reps there. Ran out of gas on the last rep. And I thought I could push it one more time. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, the dumbbell stayed down and didn't want to go up. My arms, my chest did not want to cooperate. Therefore, that was it for me. So, luckily I have dumbbells <laughs> and I can easily escape from underneath the dumbbells like I just did. Uh. Well, as I was saying, my brother was just texting me. Uh. Sometimes working out alone is a challenge by itself. Not sometimes, a lot of times. Uh, it's hard to stay motivated, it's hard to stay focused. It's harder to time your sets and whatnot. It is harder in general. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't. As I've been proven here, <laughs> I'm working out by myself. <laughs> this is my time. I time myself for my breaks so I don't get back to the weights too soon. The only thing I don't have is a counter that, or a reminder that tells me, hey, you already did two, rep, uh, two sets of that. You need two more sets. I don't have that. I have to remember myself. Half the time, I don't remember. Whew. But if you don't have a workout partner, that's exactly why I'm making these videos. If you choose to follow along, if you choose to, at least you'll have some sort of entertainment <laughs> going on and an idea of what's going on. Maybe we can be workout partners and not even, not even know each other. All right, time is up. Let's go with our third set. All right, here we go. Same scenario. Whew. 
push to seven reps and sort of attempted to go for an eighth rep but on the way down I knew that was it I couldn't even control it very much on the way down once I got down <laughs> I couldn't even move them <laughs> so, so that's it for that particular set we'll do one more set and after next set we're gonna, we're gonna go flat which again I don't think we're gonna be able to do many wraps I am definitely not taking weight off since I can still pass five reps with a fairly decent form. So I'm not gonna go with quantity when the quality is still good. So I'll leave it there. And then once I'm done with the next set, I'll make the bench flat and do the last four sets. And call it a day. All right, let's see what's the bro key saying. I don't think there's anything back yet. <laughs> okay. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Just a few more seconds to go. Barely under a minute. At least I'm glad I'm making some progress. I'm lifting heavier, even though I, I don't think I'll be able to lift as heavy as most people can. Uh, I'm not a very strong guy. <sighs> Plus strength is not really one of my goals. I know I'll achieve some strength by training, but uh, getting stronger is not one of my main goals. All right, sorry about that noise. Time is up. and a half <laughs> that's all I could do all right we're gonna try this flat now oh. and it's gonna be at this point when we'll find out if I'll have to take weight off or not All right, let's reset this thing. All right. Whew. Ah. Whew. So yeah, let's find out if I can push this 40 pounds on each arm flat and for how long? I know I can definitely do five of them. <laughs> Five reps, how many more past five? <sighs> Again, I might have to take weight off, but we'll find out after the very first set. 
if the last if the next three sets are gonna be with 30 pounders instead of 40. I can definitely see the progress. Not so much in my legs. I'm gonna have to work my legs harder than last time. I mean, my drumsticks at the bottom, <laughs> they look more muscular, but not bigger. Might not be training them right. At least not my quads. I don't know, should I do more quads like twice a week? Nah, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I don't want to hurt my legs like last time. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work whenever I get leg day again. I'm definitely gonna push and push. I might start with extensions. Um, considering either start start lighter with squats do two do two sets of squats with barely any weight on it maybe 25 pounds on each side or something silly just to warm up because it is it is really cold out here i don't want to pull anything i don't need to pull all right time is up Let's try our first set of this dumbbell press. Here we go. Yep, I need to take some weight off. That was five and a half reps. <laughs> I think maybe six. So I'm gonna be pushing on 30 pounders. Dumbbells are ready for the next set. <sighs> now I don't even remember what I was talking about before I went to do my first set of oh, dumbbell press. <sighs> oh, I was talking about squats on leg day. Yeah, I might do two sets of squats with barely any weight on it. I think I'll do them with 25ers on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do two sets with 25ers on. And I'll push it to like 20, maybe 25 pounds is too much. <laughs> Ah, uh, has to be something lame. Has something to has some has something. 
has to be something really lame. Like 20 pounds, do two sets of 20, and then take them off and put the 45ers on. Because at that point, I should be warmed after doing 40 squats with a little bit of weight on it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Maybe by the time I get to do the last set of the squats, I'm already fatigued enough for whenever I do the extensions and the curls. All right, time is up. Here we go. Officially tired. <laughs> I took 10 pounds off of each side, off of each dumbbell. Now I'm pushing 30 pounds and I barely made it to 10. Barely made it to 10 reps. So next two sets are gonna be with that much weight. That's gonna be it for today. Can't wait for tomorrow, it's gonna be a bicep day. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> uh, but after this, I need to get back to cardio and to drink more water because I kind of slacked in the past few days. After that Chipotle day, ate Chipotle, felt stronger. I was like, huh, what keeps me in the strength is the food. <laughs> uh, so I've been kind of neglecting the eating habits. I need to grab it a little bit tighter from this point on. Actually, uh, day 130, it's when the actual calorie deficit will be enforced. Before that, it was suggested. I've been kind of tapping into it slightly to see how I adapt to it instead of like plunging into it. And it is doable. So by the end of this journey, about by the end of this 300 days, I better be ripped. I'm talking about a possible, like if I continue at this pace, a possible single digit body fat percentage, which I still haven't measured myself. <laughs> oh, I still haven't taken my measurements. <laughs> the body fat percentage uh, I gotta watch one of the Scooby's video again Woo. all right time is almost up I'm gonna go in our second set of this flat ah, dumbbell press all right Here we go.
Ah. Ah. Succeed on that one. That last rep, I tried and to see if I could push it to the top. Somehow I did. <laughs> I probably have to get back to the video and see how, how much I wiggle myself into that last rep. Two more sets to go. And after this break, it's gonna be only one more break and oh, we're gonna call it a day. Oh, well. but anyway, 30 pounds to close the day, not too bad. And at some point, I'll look back into this video, I'll be like, man, I was lame. <laughs> I was really lame. But again, it's not about me being a eagle lifter or power lifter. I'm just trying to be better than I was yesterday. And so far, I am accomplishing it. So yeah, by the end of this journey, by the end of these 300 days, I'll probably be single digit body fat percentage. Um, not too low, maybe somewhere around 9%. That's what I think. I just heard something outside. Anyway, somewhere around 9% body fat. And thereafter, I'll go up to normal, maybe 10 or 11%. I'll, I'll try to stay within range, within, yeah, within range of single digit body fat <sighs> somewhere wherever I am healthy that's the goal <laughs> somewhere sustainable anyway yeah time is up wow. <laughs> here we go Got cocky on that one. <laughs> this is the last break. And after this, one more set, when I call it a day. It's gonna be it for today. No doubt. All right, time is ticking. Let's see what I'm gonna am I gonna work? Maybe not tonight. But most likely early in the morning. Let me check. Yeah, not working tonight for sure. 
Oh, that's the wrong password. <laughs> okay. Second out again. One, two, three. Yep. Nope. What? Well, yeah, that's a nope. First out now. Not working tonight. But tomorrow morning, most likely. All right. Time is still ticking. We're gonna go on our last set. I still have the mark, I don't know if you can see it there. Now you can see it. I still have the mark of them stupid rubber snow boots from work. It's been like a month. Actually yesterday, uh, was it yesterday or was it this morning? Last night. Yeah, last night. It was snowing. I was like, don't tell me I have to wear these stupid boots again. Because I don't want to wear the, them stupid boots. They burn my legs and I still have the marks on my legs. If you're asking all of you prefer to sleep in full over burning your legs. Ask the people, you know what? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather fall and break my neck over stupid burning boots every time I make a step. <clears throat> Who wants to burn alive? Nobody, just shoot me. Anyway, time is up. Last set. Here we go. That's it for today. I'm done. And I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.